Good morning, YouTube. This is TJ934. I'll, I'll be explaining to you how to do, uh, how to special summon cards from your extra deck. The only cards I want to show you how to do that, though, is with fusion monsters, because I don't collect a lot of fusion monsters. But I'll demonstrate how you, how you can use the extra deck in real life. And I'll probably demonstrate how to use uh, fusion monsters from Def Pro, Yu-Gi-Oh, or um, DuelingNetwork.com. So, let's get started. I'll be I'll be demonstrating. Five cards. Exceed monsters. And three synchro monsters. Now, before I begin, I will make another video how to play Yu Gi Oh! I know I said I would do that, but I'm like, this should be covered first before I explain anything else. I did a previous video and it didn't work out. So I'm gonna do my best to explain how to do things. Okay. Oh, I will not be in too much in depth, so I'll explain how to do the ex exceed monsters because they're more complicated than the synchros because a lot of people misplay them a lot. Okay, let's start with the with our, with the black cards. Tetsu, Grenosaurus, Utopia. The trio. Rank 2, rank 3, rank 4. Okay. Let's say you normal summon this card. And you normal the next turn. Another level 4. You have two level 4 monsters all together. This means that you, you open the game state of special summoning monsters from an extra deck. How to do this? You check your card. Utopia. It states that if you need to have two level four monsters and to in order to use effect you had to do certain step by steps. Let's start off with exceed summoning. You have two or four monsters. You overlap them or overlay Utopia. Now you have two monsters that were your that were, uh, are in your control. You control them to form a union of Utopia. Now he's special summoned. You're now control of his materials and him himself. Now, to use this, to use their effects, this is considered an activation cost. Look it up in Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. Basically, in in order to use an activation, there's always a cost to it. By detaching, detaching means to remove a de uh, attachment from the uh, attachment from uh, of a material from a certain rank monster. Black cards are rank monsters. The, this card has four black circles and that means you can only use certain level four monsters. I detach it to activate its effect. I can negate the the attack of a certain monster that attacks anyone on mo any one of my monsters, and I can negate his attack towards me. Detach it again. Negate the attack. Now, when you remove the detachments, they automatically return to the graveyard. They no longer exist in the field. 
they exist in the graveyard now. They're nothing. So you get them back from to your hand or to the deck. Now, at the Utopius effect, if he gets attacked and he has no exceed materials, he's automatically destroyed. Causing this, the opponent to attack again and choose another target, or, yeah, choose another target. So when Utopia doesn't have materials, it's automatically sent to the graveyard. And, and it's destroyed itself. Now you saw how Utopia works. In order to use this effect, you must, you must declare, I declare activation of this monster's effect by detaching one of its materials to the graveyard. You could say it like that or something like that so your opponent understands you. If there's no communication, the game is awful. What you did was messed up. So you have to say what you have to do with your cards. You can not do whatever you want. You have to respect your opponent. Okay, Kitetsu. Let's say you have two level two monsters. And that's what it says. It's a rank monster, a rank two monster to be <laughs> exact. It states that you need to have two level two monsters. Gotcha. You got your shinobi, uh, your ventral shinobi, and the key master. Wait. The key man warrior. <coughs> now, you overlay them. You special summon. That's your game mechanic. That's what's, that's the game mechanic of the game. You get the special summon monsters that you did specifically. <coughs> Salute. Now, because Katetsu has two ranks, <coughs> you need a certain number of level two monsters. When when this card summoned, this card has the effect to give you a power boost to all your monsters on, on your side of the field, attack power. Since it has, depending on how many materials it has, all the monsters gain 200 per material, including itself. Now, when this card is destroyed by battle, or it's about to be destroyed, you can declare an activation by detaching one of its, by detaching one of its uh, materials to the graveyard, and preventing him from from being destroyed. This causes the chain to him. He doesn't have any more materials. Now he's decreased by 200 power. Does it again. This time he he protects himself, but he has no materials to give attack power to. Now he's either going to be an attack mode or a defense mode. When this card gets destroyed, finally he's sent to the graveyard. No questions asked. You were able to defeat him because you were able to discard all his materials needed for the summon. Now, Grenosaurus. And I'll explain to you uh, that about how his effect, and I'll explain to you a little bit more deeper than that. Grenosaurus states that you need to have two level three monsters on the field to combine, overlay, and to special summon this card to the, to the field. Now, not bad if you can't see them. Now, oh my gosh, sorry. You have three level three monsters, I mean two level three monsters. You overlay them. You just special summon Granosaurus. When this card attacks the opponent's monster and destroys it successfully, <coughs> you can detach its materials, activate its effect, your opponent loses uh, inflict damage of 1000. Does it again. I declare an activation by detaching one of its materials that when I destroy your monsters successfully by battle, 
you lose 1000 inflict damage. Now, now this is the point I want to talk about. Now here's the point. The point is, is that when you have these cards that you control on the field, they no longer are playable. Like, hold on, hold on. Let's say that all your monsters, say these cards of mine, have no materials. You, you're still in control of them. They're not destroyed automatically. They're not destroyed automatically. I say again. These cards are not destroyed automatically. Because if you use all the materials, they're not destroyed automatically. Again, you can still keep in control of them, but they will not go away. They won't go to the graveyard, they won't go to anywhere else except on the field. When you destroy them by battle, successfully, or by card effect, they go to the graveyard normally. It's, it's like every other monster. Every other monster, every other spell, they all go to the graveyard. This is my graveyard. Now, you can also special summon them by Monster Born to put them back to the, to the, to the field. You can also special summon Utopia. Yes, you can special summon Utopia. And here's the thing. If you somehow use a card effect that negates the summoning of the monster and prevents him from being summoned successfully, then that monster is sent to the graveyard, but you cannot bring him back because he's destroyed in a certain way and somehow he's not successfully set on the field. By set, I mean settled. So when you have no ex exceed materials or materials attached to him, to any of these monsters, they're still in your power. You could still use them however you want, but you could still destroy them by battle, by card effects, or by attributing these cards for a higher monster. Because a lot, of, I see a lot of people make misplays. I see a lot of people don't use these cards effects, and sometimes. They think that, oh, I have weak monsters, I should, I should not attack my opponent. Yes. There's some times where you have to use weak monsters, and you think that's not enough damage. You could exceed them to get a higher monster and do more damage than needed. So, that's the point of the game. Just be careful how you use these. There's some cards that will betray you. Seriously. There are cards that betray you that you will not expect them coming. If you play number 39, I mean number 30, Acid Golem, that monster will make you pay 2,000 life points just to have him on the field, every standby phase. If you sacrifice your life points too early, that's what happened. You lose the game. Now, now that I explained the exceed materials, let's summarize this point. Once you summon the monsters in the field, they're still con they are still in your control. You contribute them. You can I mean, you contribute them for a higher monster. You can activate their effects, but they have effect costs, like activation cost. Like I demonstrate, detaching is an activation cost. These cards can can be negated, other summoning and their card effects. I'm telling you now because a lot of people misplay them. There are ways to negate their effects, and there's ways to negate their summoning. And, there's ways to return these cards back to the extra deck. I'll explain them how to do that later, in a different gameplay. And, every Exceed monster is called a rank. They're all rank monsters. You cannot call them level monsters because they have a different setup. Look, the difference between it's uh, uh, looking between this guy and this guy. 
This one has level 3. This one's rank 3. Black cards are rank, rank monsters. Get that straight. Do not get them confused because then you'll be messed up and you'll be misread. Okay. Now to explain that part. The summary point, be careful how you use these. These cards are limited, but you can use them at their purpose, at their full potential. Now, I'm going to explain to you how to use Synchro Monsters. Because I see a lot of misplays, and I see a lot of people mess up. Trust me, I've seen a lot. And they ain't, there ain't no other way to tell them, but they need to get their x -ray. Now, Exceed Monsters, again, respect their conditions. If they tell you how to do a certain, a certain, uh, a certain way to summon them, they'll play the back, go, go ahead, see what you need to do. If you need help, more information, go to you, you, uh, I say, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, they'll help you understand how to do it. Okay, now. The Synchros. Lightning Warrior. Tempest Magician. I'll let you see the words. Yeah, that's not going to help, but yeah, Tempest Magician. And Dark Highlander. I'm going to start you off with a level 6 and a level 7 monster. I'll do this later. Because it has a special condition. Very special condition that you had to pull it off correctly. Now, I will not explain these cards effects because you had to. Uh, I'll, I'll do that in another video how to use these, but for now, let's just start with how you special summon these characters from your extra deck. Okay. I'll start off with level 6. It states that you need a tuner and a one or more spellcaster non tuner monsters. I have Turbo Rocket. This effect. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for an interruption. Okay. Let's get this started. Turbo Rocket, level 2. Uh, uh, he's a tuner monster. You can't probably see it because I'm moving too much. But if you look him up, you can tell he's a tuner. Okay, Tempest Magician, level 6. Max Sorcerer. Now, this Tempest Magician says you can ha you use a tuner. 
It doesn't matter what type of a tuner is, as long as it's specifically a tuner monster. Tuner monsters might not have attack, I mean, might not have card effects, but if the tuner has card effects, read them. If it doesn't, it's alright, you can still use them. Now, Tempest Magician, level 6. Since I have a tuner, that's a level 2. Now I just need a, a one spellcaster monster that's not a tuner. I demonstrate Max Sorcerer, level 4, spellcaster. You guys can look him up. Say you, you summon this guy in the field, this guy in the next turn. Now, the gameplay. To do this, you must uh, you must sacrifice. No, you must send the monsters from your field equal to the number of the number of levels the monster you're trying to special summon. It's not. It's kind of like tributing, but it's not. You're basically sending these monsters, and that's a game mechanic. Sending monsters to the graveyard that have combined levels. Send these guys to the graveyard. You just special summon Tempest Magician. Level 6. Her card effect is pretty long, but basically you discard cards. You make, and for each card you discard from your hand, your opponent loses life points by 500 for each card discarded. And, oh no, 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 I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. You can discard cards from your hand. For each discard card, you add counters to this monster. This monster apparently does not have a, sp uh, a spell counter maximum, so you can put as many spell cast uh, uh, spell counters on this card, and you can discard all of the spell counters to make your opponent lose 500 each spell counter spell counter removed. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit fast with this one because I think this is simple. Level seven. Let's go back to with Max Sorcerer. Lightning Warrior states that you can have a tuner and one or more tuner monsters. Non-tuner monsters, excuse me. So you can have any type of tuner as long as he's specifically a tuner. And you can have any type of monster that's not a tuner. Level 4. Well, I have Turbo Rocket. He's level 2. It does not work. I either need a, a monster that has a, that's a level 1 or a monster that's level 3 tuner. Now, I demonstrate a Junk Synchron, level 3. Oh. Now, Junk Synchron level 3, he has an effect when he's summoned, I get the special summon at level 2 from the graveyard. But I won't do this this occasion. I'll do that in the gameplay though. Normal summon this guy, normal summon him the next turn. Max Sorcerer. Th send these guys to the graveyard. 3 plus 4. Special summons. From your extra deck, level 7. His effect states that when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card your opponent, your opponent has in his hand. Now, which, what I demonstrated was how to special summon certain monsters depending on their special conditions of what card you need and what card you don't need. Now, I will show you a, mo a single monster that has a, a special condition that is very specific. You need Fiend, fiend or Demon, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <coughs> you need a you need a fiend type or a demon type because it's hard for me to say it. You need a fiend type and one or more fiend type monsters. A fiend type tuner and one or more fiend type monsters. There are non tuners. Specifically Dark Highlander. 
Now, to do this, this guy's a level 7, and it's not going to be easy, because I don't have a lot of beam tuners, but I found out a combo, which will take forever, but I would get my cards right, it'll work. This card was face down. I flip summon. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> First of all, I normal summon Beige of the Dark World, level 4. He's a fiend type. Look him up. And then, I before I summon Fiend, oh my god, I set this card face down. I'll wait for my next turn. I normal summon Barrier Resonator. Resonator has is a tuner and it's level one. Beige is level four. And I special no, now I flip some this card. Dark Mask of Darkness. Level two. Now if we combine all the levels. Two, four, one. I notice that I have one level. I have one level one tuner, one level four monster, and one level two monster. That adds up seven. Now, by sending these cards to the graveyard, I get to special summon Dark Highlander. Why? Because I was successfully able to use one tuner that's a fiend type, two, <coughs> two other fiend type monsters, one level two, one level four, and one level one tuner. <coughs> now, let's round up this part. To summarize the synchro, synchro Summon, you must have a tuner. There are cards that make you force to have more tuners and excuse me, will make you force specific conditions. Just like the XYZs, but they're different. Synchros are considered level monsters. Once you have them in the field, they're still under your control. You can negate the summon of these monsters, and you can destroy them. If they if they negate the summon, and they're sent to the graveyard, or destroyed and sent to the graveyard, they can no longer be back to the field. You must bring them back to the extra deck, and repeat the summon. Second, each card has their own special conditions, depending on what card you need. Third, you need to be careful how you use these cards. Also, the, the the monsters that were sent to the graveyard that I demonstrate in this video, um, you, they're not considered like how you say tribute. They're considered sent. You had to send certain a number of level monsters to combine. Okay, now you guys got that part. Thank you for watching this video. And have a great day. TG9304 signing out.